Hi there, I've just made a quite big update to the um, plating generator this time around. This is version 130. Um, here you can see I've um, added a few features including some rounding effects on the outer corners of your selection uh, when you want to create a bevel. Uh, you can tweak various parameters there just to give a little bit more of a finished effect. Here we go, switching it on and off. And also here I've added um, better segmentation to the sides of the plates when you want to add more detail. So it wasn't, it, they were overlapping a bit in some cases and I didn't like it. So I've changed that as well. Uh, the edge split as well has been improved. Uh, it will now split all the corners of the plates as well now. Um, it wasn't a big effect, but it was nagging me a bit, so I've changed that as well. So there you can quickly get a pretty nice effect. There you go. Uh, and also if I add some more bevels to the plates, let's do that again. You can see you can start to get some really nice effects now. Tab out of that. There you go. And there is another new feature as well about adding existing edge selections uh, that I'll show you in a moment. Here we go. So if I go into edge selection mode and actually now select the actual plate effects I want to create, I can have much more control now. I can define those as, as over the grooves. Uh, so if I generate plates now, by default it will create lines all over but if I change the option to existing selection uh, it'll tighten it up just to that those edges that you've selected. There you go and if I add some more there as well you'll see the effect again. So hopefully that'll be quite useful. Then a few more options that I've added. Uh, you can now, if you're just about seeing this visualization, if I take the bevel down a bit, I've added the uh, ability to add some UV seams to the plates as well. So this should help you when you're um, editing the UVs for texture mapping purposes. And that's pretty much it. So if I just quickly show you again, just adding a selection here. Uh, so by default now, if these select edges are still selected, uh, if I take all the plates down, if I take all the cuts down and just leave curved corners, you can get some quite nice sort of hard op style effects. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I've also changed a lot of the code underneath hood as well, so it should go a lot more uh, quickly this time around as well. Okay, thanks for watching.